off the jump and then taking it. This guy has something that's going to be special. Very strong, strong guy, strong personal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Four, 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 four. <laughs> You saw that in his eyes, that it is this one goal to, to come back on snow, to get the feeling back, to have fun again and to compete. I think it's Alex's time to get the medal in Beijing. Probably going to be one of the favorites and one of the big favorites. A gold medal, that would be incredible. Everything's possible. I grew up in a small place called Lumbadalm, which is 30 minutes away from Oslo. I got my first skis when I was two, and I was skiing with my, with my family. Yeah, just cruising down, trying to tail my brother and beat him, but uh, that wasn't that easy. <laughs> As a kid and growing up, he just wanted to play, and he wanted to train, and we actually had to hold him back. My dreams were always to be the best in the world uh, at alpine skiing and, and of course just, you know, have fun with it in the way. It's a sport that you need support from parents. I was head of this, uh, the alpine part of the ski federation for a while because I was so engaged in getting kind of a platform for Alexander. And uh, Christine has been administrating all of Alexander's stuff outside skiing. They put so much effort into it and without me knowing it was an effort for them because I thought it was just fun for them. But of course, when I look at it now, yeah, without them, it would be impossible. We are a good team. <laughs> I came from having pretty good results in the European Cup. Uh, I won the overall European Cup. So, so it was kind of, I had to show that I was good enough to be on the World Cup team. I came there on the first camp. I was so starstruck. Unbelievable. Uh, with Swindal and, and Janstrud being there, and I came in as a little tiny boy. Alexander came in when uh, uh, Axel and I were kind of running the speed team. He, at the first day, the first minute, took his spot. Like, he came in and pushed us on every level. Uh, he pushed us on the intensity when training on the hill. He sat down at the dinner table and, and made jokes and, and instantly became a part of the team. It was tough, but I also thought it was a part of it. Uh, I knew that I was a little bit younger, I needed some more experience, and that I was at the, at the right place for sure. Do the jump in a good position. Yeah. We came to races. Jansru and Svindal, they were always winning. And I was just fighting for those 30th places. <laughs> of course, being in the shadow was a big challenge. I wanted to be in the spotlight too. I think that was one of the reasons for me to keep on fighting. 13th place was, was really good for me. I can't complain about that. So. It was a it was a lot of fun to be there because Chetil he he did so good he had gold and bronze and I was sharing room with him actually so the feeling he had is something I want to have too and I know that uh, it's an Olympics coming in four years and it started pretty well I won the World Cup Super G in 2016 and then I came into 2018 where we had Pyeongchang. one of the most powerful physically fit and strong athletes. I had so much revenge in my body, I, I just wanted to, you know, get in there and, and hammer and, and deliver the results. Oh, and there's the mistake that Kilt has been making all week long. On the way I made probably some, some bad choices where I changed equipment, uh, I had some small injuries and it didn't go that well. Disappointment for Kilda. he's had a frustrating Olympics. It was really a tough time because I've wanted it so much. And then I saw, you know, they did the double in the downhill and me sitting there, basically nothing. But, you know, then you keep on fighting and you make some 
good decisions again in 2020 then back on the old equipment and <laughs> winner of the overall world cup and that was uh, was pretty amazing too for me as a coach it was an amazing experience that he achieved that yeah i never thought that would be possible i i dreamt of it and then you sit there and you have it in your head <laughs> so, yeah, it's incredible and that's something i want to feel again so the season after I took the World Cup overall, I started off really well again. And I was winning races and, and leading the overall again. And then I had a training crash. When he crashed, it was really tough. Yeah, that was, that was a pity. If there was one guy that I never believed would get an ACL injury that way, because it's Alexander because he's so strong, you know, I figured that wouldn't happen. But I proved again how much force is you know that's on the racer when you ski. Yes, sir. Ready, set, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 10 seconds. Last three, two, one. Very good, let break. The first day was really funny because he was coming here with his crutches and he was not able to, to walk on crutches. It looks very funny, we were a lot of laughing with him. But yeah, he was from the first day really focused on the, on the whole process. When I was laying down, you know, just waiting for it to heal a little bit for two or three weeks, then all the muscles just suddenly disappeared. Our goal was to bring it back, the, the whole volume, but to bring back also his strength his explosiveness and all the stuff you need for an alpine skier. It was mentally a little bit tough, but also the feeling of actually be able to reach new steps on the way, that's really motivating. And it's been cool for me to actually see how the body works and how it goes from being up here to focus on getting better down there. He's amazing. He's a unique athlete, of course. He will be able to, to compete with all the athletes. He should be 100% ready for the Olympics. We are very excited to see what he will achieve in Beijing in 2022. And it's even more exciting when you know that you have a chance. Alex can be the next Olympic champion because of his hard work and what he's done over many years of training, both in the gym and on the snow. He might as well run away from Olympics with three gold medals. A gold medal, that would be incredible. Every fourth year, you have one chance. You gotta deliver. <laughs>